wasn't like a ding. that was more like a badong. The Hot Song, Jet One. Let's take a look at it. What is going on everyone? I'm Riddick here and welcome to Off The Shelf Air Guns. Today we have the Hot Sun Jet 1. Now we are going to take a close up look at this here in a minute. But uh, this is a PCP air gun. So we don't do PCP guns on this channel very much. But this one I was really impressed with and I really like. And so I decided that I'm going to show it off here. And what's perfect about it is the budget on this channel is anything we can get our hands on around $300 mark or less. Now, if you don't have a PCP gun or don't even know what it is, it is a manually filled air gun with a cylinder <clears throat> that you either fill by with a hand pump or you can get a compressor. Uh, but for this one, it's only a 40cc cylinder. So one of the decent hand pumps that you can get is all you're really gonna need and uh, you'll be good to go. Now the Jet 2 does come with two cylinders, so if you're gonna use that, it'll take you a little longer to uh, fill it, of course, but this Jet 1 takes me under a minute to fill, so it ain't bad at all. And I would imagine the Jet 2 would just be under two minutes. All right, wanted to talk about this because this is around the 300 mark. The Jet 1 is 279, the Jet 2 is around 319 or 329, somewhere in there, depending on where you go. But the hand pump, now see, that's where you come in and it's going to make the price go above our budget. The hand pump's going to cost you anywhere from 50 to 200, depending on what you get. I have a middle of the road one, it's an Air Venturi. Uh, I'll show some footage of it here so you can see what I'm talking about for those that may not be aware of what any of this means because there are people out there that don't know what a PCP air gun is. So I'll show some footage of that here right now. All right, so here's the hand pump. This is the Air Venturi G9. Bit of a middle of the road kind of hand pump. Now I want to point out this is the Foster, female Foster fitting that comes with the Jet 1 and Jet 2. I'll explain why I had to do that shortly. Yeah. That's what a hand pump looks like for those that may not be aware. I know a lot of my viewers already know all this stuff, but there are people out there that probably didn't even know this stuff existed, so... Gotta be aware of that at all times. Can't just talk to people like they know everything. You gotta take into account that we may be educating folks out there, so... It's the hand pump I use. I don't have many PCP guns, but for what I do have, it gets the job done. All right, so there you go. That's what the hand pump's all about. Now, once you get the hand pump, then you're opening the door to other PCP air guns that are around the 300 or less mark, since we're trying to stay within that budget. But to get into it, you'll have to go over budget by about $100, give or take, all right? So, yeah, I just wanted to point that out, that we're, we're maxing out the budget for this one, but I think that it's well worth the investment. I'm going to bring the camera over to my table and we'll do a little close-up of what everything is going on here with this gun. And we'll talk about it a little bit and then we'll shoot it some more. Alright, so right out of the gate, I want to point out that for anybody that may have looked up reviews on this already and seen it in a nice fancy hard case, no, it does not come with the fancy hard case. That was only probably for review units or special things that went on, I have no idea. But the average consumer, you get this lovely black run-of-the-mill cardboard box. Nothing fancy. So just know that right out of the gate. Now some hot sawn guns do come with that fancy hard case. This is not one of them. And you got your manual for the Jet series. Jet 1 and 2. Do not return this item to the retailer. You have a... Uh, Safety card for PCP air rifles, which is always good for the beginners that may not know what they're doing. There's your carbine stock attachment. Which does have adjustable cheek rest. Just unscrew this and you can adjust it up to your liking. Extendable, of course. 
several different positions. Okay. Nice rubber butt pad on the back there. Nice heavy duty polymer. Heavy duty polymer. Nothing hollow about that. And of course we have the gun itself. Here's the gun itself. We're gonna take another better close up look at it here in just a second. Okay. And then it also comes with two magazines, the R7 shot, being that this is the 22 caliber. There's your magazine. All right, does come with two of them, like I said. It does come with spare O-rings and things like this, which is always nice. And a female, extended female foster fitter, which isn't in the bag, and I'm going to explain why in a minute. Because I actually had to use it. And this is one of the coolest features about this that I just think is awesome. When I got options, when I have options, I like options. I'm all about options. So you got your magazines, your seven shot magazines, but hey, maybe you don't want to use a magazine. Maybe you just want to do single shot. This little uh, attachment here slides right in, which I'll show in here in a minute, slides right into the, uh, to the breech and you are set up for single shot, which is very, very cool. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way and take a better look at this gun. All right, now, our carbine stock, I just love that. But right now I wanna take a close up look at this here and show you guys something that's really cool. When you're in pistol mode, your sights, your open sights, you'll see right here, shows the pistol icon. So you want that sight up for pistol mode, all right? And of course your front sight. Both fiber optic. Okay. Let's say you want to do carbine mode. Flip that down. See right here, put your carbine image. And that's the site you want for carbine mode. How cool is that? We'll talk about the open sights in a little bit after we shoot it some. Uh, I'll say it right now, you only have elevation on these rear sights. They don't have any windage to play with. So, just know that right out of the gate. Now, as far as the fitting here, you got a male foster. All right. So, no regulator, you got a male foster. And with this male foster, I had to actually, the female foster that they supply with this gun, I had to put on my pump because the female foster that was already on my pump was just a little too loose to get a solid, tight connection around this fitting. So just know that it may not be every pump. It may not be everybody's pump. You might be able to just boom and you're on and you're ready to go. But for me, I did have to use the female foster that was supplied with this gun. Okay. So just know that. It's a nice little cover there. There's your gauge right on the tank. And we're about half full there. Safety. Safety's interesting. There's your safety. That's all it is. It's a little flip up thing. So, pretty cool. Gets the job done. Very, very well constructed. Yes, it is all polymer. The tank isn't. The tank's obviously metal, steel, whatever it's made out of. And on this side, you can see it is side lever action. Okay. As you can see here. All right. And I want to show you like I was talking about here. Okay, so, say you want, oh, I'm gonna use a magazine today, right? And you just slide your magazine in, just like that. Set up for magazine use. Maybe you're like, oh, maybe I wanna do single shot instead. Well, and with this, you just simply, just like that, you're all set up for single shot. How cool is that? I really like that. The grip on this is real nice. Real nice grip. Good ambidextrous grip. Only problem is, is if you're lefty, you're gonna have to, uh, you know, come around here, like one, do one of these things. Which, you know, it ain't that big of a deal, but something to be aware of. So yeah. Of course, you wanna go carbine mode, one of my favorite things. 
about it is simply take your carbine stock attachment, boom, carbine mode, just like that. How cool is that? And like I said, you can uh, adjust that stock however you like. And there you go. This does come in .177 caliber, 22 caliber, and 25 caliber. This is the 22 caliber because I love my 22. And the difference being between them, of course, not just the calibers, but your magazine for your .177 will be an eight shot. Magazine for this bad boy, the 22, is a seven shot. Magazine for the 25 is a six shot. All right, so just know that. At the 177 caliber, you're looking at around 800 or so feet per second maximum. About 700 feet per second maximum with the 22 and around 600 feet per second maximum with the 25. Okay. And of course, we will find that out when we do chronograph testing. And right now, we're just doing the initial thoughts, first opinions and first impressions and all that good stuff. All right. So... That's pretty much the gist of what's going on here with this air gun. Uh, I think it's really cool, well worth it. And so, yeah, let's go ahead and take some shots with it. So this bad boy packs a wallop. Now listen, before I even get into it, just know that this is a pretty loud gun. So it's up to you if you want to use ear protection, I would probably recommend it. Of course, I don't have any right now, but my ears are shot as it is anyway. But definitely you may want to consider ear protection with this one unless you can get the suppressor. The suppressor that they make for these does work. And especially if you're going to be doing backyard plinking in the suburbs or where the neighbors are finicky or whatever, you're definitely not going to want to backyard plink with this without the suppressor. Because you are going to definitely draw attention. So just know that right out of the gate. All right. Saw blade. Oh yeah. Packs a wallet. Let's try the black diamond down over the hill. Oh yeah. Uh, let's see. See about one of them cans maybe. See if we can make it smack it. Oh, it went right through it. <laughs> what about one of them spinners? Oh yeah. Oh, let's try the saw blade down over the hill if we can aim through there. Might not. Nope, I got it. Oh, let's see if we can hit that little spoon. Oh, I missed. All right. And my ears are ringing a little bit, so <laughs> definitely probably want the ear protection when you're using this bad boy without a suppressor. All right. That's something I'm going to recommend for sure. Unless you get the suppressor, you may want your ear protection. All right. Now, with that said, that's pretty much all I got to say about the Jet 1. The Jet, the Jet series in general is super cool. Of course, I have it in the carbine mode. I like that mode the best. I like getting it up there like that. It's real nice. The grip is great. The grip is great on this. And like I said, you know, Everything, uh, everything about it is polymer, but very well made. Now, I will say this about the sights on this. The sights are only adjustable for elevation. There's no windage that I can see, okay? So you're only, you only have elevation. Just know that you'll have to do some Kentucky windage if you get off on your windage. The open sights aren't the greatest thing in the world on this one. I don't know, I really like it. I think it's really cool. It's, 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 it went over our budget a little bit, but I think it's well worth it. Uh, you want something nice that you can have. Uh, this is definitely a nice air gun to have. And uh, packs a wallop. You can definitely hunt small game with this. And it's great for plinking, of course, practice. And I mean, you can't beat the fact that you go from carbine and you're like, eh, I don't want to do carbine. Maybe I want to do pistol. My thumbs don't work. There we go. 
Maybe I want to do pistol, right? Can't beat that. Of course, like I said, pistol, flip up this rear, throw down that middle one. Now you're in pistol mode. So I think that's really cool. But I like the carbine setup. Carbine setup's where I'm at. There you go. Now you can also get dual cylinders for this. So even if you don't get the Jet 2 and you want to start out with the Jet 1, you can upgrade to dual cylinders for this. They do make a, a kit to swap it out with the single mode here and turn it into a dual, basically turning it into the Jet 2. So you don't have to buy the Jet 2 right out of the gate if you don't want to. For me, the Jet 1 is all I need, but if I want the dual cylinder, I can easily buy the kit and upgrade it, and there I go. So, yeah. Super cool. Super, super cool. The Hot Sun Jet 1. With that said, catch you all down the road.